Joy Lab. Let's figure out the mass in grams of 2.45 moles of diphosphorus pentoxide. So this is a binary covalent compound. How do we know that? Oh, because we have these, these prefixes in here, di and pent. So di is two, so we know there are two phosphoruses. Pent is five, so it's P2O5. So we want to find out the mass in grams of 2.45 moles of this. So we know that we want grams of P2O5, or the units of our answer. So we only have one place to start, which is 2.45 moles of P2O5. So we need to figure out the molar mass. It's a one-stepper if we're going to get to grams. So, I'm going to look that up. We have two phosphoruses at, since there are three sig figs here, I'll just take this to four. So 30.97. So we have 30.97 times, that's grams of phosphorus. And that's, there's two of those guys. So let's multiply that by two. And then we have um, five oxygens, so 15.99 um, grams of oxygen, we'll multiply that by five. So 30.97 times two plus and I'll open up the parentheses, 15.99 times 5, close parentheses, equals 141.89 grams of P2O5 per mole. So I know that for every one mole P2O5, we have 141.89 grams of P2O5. Moles cancel. I can need my calculator. So we have 141.89 left over from the last one times 2.45. How many sig figs? Three sig figs. One, two, three, six is going to make the seven and an eight. So 348 grams. Joy Lab. Learning done right.